Yeah, my dear wilderness guide friends, colleagues um, around the world. Um, in the upcoming board meeting, there is something where uh, I feel it's about why are we in the WGA? Why do we want this association? And maybe even why are we wilderness guides? And I feel that like I'm very motivated to be a wilderness guide because I see the necessity in our world for what we are doing and how we are doing it and why we are doing it. And my own definition of wilderness guide is to, to be a bridge builder between the modern human experience and, well, the reality right the reality of the natural world because it's still the only place on earth and there is i think wilderness in in a way everywhere or wildness and i think we have a very good perspective on what that means we know what is needed to to survive right we um, know what it means to be because the best moments that we have out there is when we are when we just be where we just are it's not about even engaging in in exotic activities right it's just being and i i feel that the essence of the wilderness guide is is well essentially of course or naturally the essence of being also because the question why we are not only why we are why are we wilderness guides but why are we right um there is two ways to approach this question. One way is to think like, okay, in, in a similar way, why is the pike living in the lake, in this lake, right? Because the environment is, is suitable for the pike to live there. So in a very similar sense, we can think like, why are we? Well, because the environment is like, you know, makes it possible for us to be our species and us as individuals, of course. Um, and that means we depend on an ecosystem, right? We, we are, interconnected equal parts of the natural world and we are dependent on each other and I think this is also the the part where the other way to answer the question why are we comes in um, because it's the same thing right we are existing because the world is how it is right it supports our life form and at the same time we need the world to be as it is to support ourselves so that's my motivation for being right life in all its diversity is my reason and and my 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 why right and i think the wilderness guide is doing that bridge in a very very elegant manner right because we kind of live in both realities we see a reality where we have kind of lost our why and there's a reality where we are the wilderness where marketing and uh, all these things and the profession even exists doesn't exist right in professions don't exist in nature that's a human human thing so there's this world where we are where we are uh, and there's this world where we are professionals and people who earn money and make a living and uh, buy things and um and i i think that's like to me when i for example, think about sponsoring from companies. I find that so difficult one. I see it's really difficult. I've been working in the outdoor industry and then there's the why has changed there also. Like the original outdoor company's motivation was to, to be facilitators, to make the outdoors accessible to the common people. And right now, the reason, yeah, that that's, they still do that, but they also do that thing of like yeah we want to grow as a business so and that's dangerous yeah um if we believe if we live beyond our needs so and the wilderness guides association why do we need the wilderness guides association well because it's good to to be surrounded by people who believe what we believe right to where we share the belief of um why we are why we are necessary uh like why we are relevant right 
why we are so relevant, like we wilderness guys, we are so relevant. Like when I think about these wonderful moments that, oh, you know, it, it feels so good to create these moments for, for customers or participants. We have really life-changing experiences and connect with nature on a level that, you know, they, they couldn't even believe that it were possible if you told them before, right? And um, so, and, and we have so unique chances as guides to, to create those moments to people, like that might be once in a lifetime experiences. So, um, Yeah, and the Wilderness Guides Association is is um, based on the Earth Charter. Like the code of conduct of the association, we have decided when we started this association to to um, to take the Earth Charter as our foundation for our code of conduct, and I think that's like a big step in itself. So. A, a, a big understanding of our commitment, a big understanding of our our reason to be, and and the, all the rest, like you know, creating trainings, um, working on what the eco regions are and what what um, um, standards in guiding we develop. Right, that's like so important. It, it's it's so un unbelievably crucial. The benefits to to understand also the benefits that we have just by being in this association, um, and develop guiding into a way that it's it's inclusive. Right, that all kinds of deep nature connection oriented guiding I, I, w I would hope that would be my personal hope as to to have as a priority because i think that's deep nature connection is the medicine that our world needs to see the most and, and needs to experience so anyhow that was uh i'm I, I start talking i'm going into into subjects now i would love to go further into depth but um i want to keep it short so Dear fellow guides, um, welcome to our association if you have not been in here for long or so. Um, I'm into the ethics, obviously, so behind the guiding and, and also, yeah, good guiding practices. And um, yeah, come come over if you are in Finland anyway, come visit. Yeah, don't come flying for it. <laughs> okay, anyhow, have a good time. Bye bye.